Hello and welcome to tutorial number 42 on Community Builder uh, 2.0 series. And this will basically be a follow up tutorial to number 27 where we actually discussed Community Builder language plugins and the TransFX project. So, the first thing I want to remind people of is. Uh, on Joomlapolis. Let me just find that for you. There go. Okay. Uh, Joomlapolis download area has a languages menu here, which brings us to this page. And basically, we can uh, see and quickly grab the various language plugins for Community Builder. Now, these plugins, for example, let's go to the Greek project. Okay, you see the files area here, CB 2.0 language plugins, and we have uh, the latest one is actually this one here, the last one. So you just download this and install it as a Community Builder plugin to get Greek in your Community Builder 2.0 area. Now, of course, on our website, we still need to have in our language manager have installed the Greek language here. And that's easily done from Joomla with the install language uh, button. Now, these, uh, let me just show you. Okay. Our TransFX area, if you go to transfx.com slash organization slash Joomlapolis, you'll see all the projects here. Now, these, the add-on, each add-on has its own project, and which you can join, basically, and help translate it into various languages. What will happen is the, the download, the plugin, actually, here that we're downloading, will grab the Community Builder translation and all the translations available from the extra add-ons and it'll create one package. So if you uh, can help in one of these languages and help translate and reach 100% uh, completion status, it will really help the rest of your uh, community to take advantage of this translation. So I urge everybody to join the Transfix project and help their language translation on, in all the projects, Community Builder and the add-on projects, reach 100% completion. Now, uh, so basically on my website, I have English installed for Joomla and Greek installed. And also in the Community Builder plugin area, I have also have installed the English plugin here and the Greek one. Okay, so I have those in place. Uh, I haven't touched anything else in terms of Joomla, but one of the things people have been asking for is the uh, welcoming message that's sent during the registration workflow be sent in the language of the user. Well, in order to do this, I mean, once we have our language plugins installed, uh, everything is basically ready. All we have to do is give the user uh, the way to specify what his language is. And how do we do that? We go to Community Builder Field Management and we find the parameters. Here we are, User Parameters Field. It's called Params. We just click on that and we go ahead and we see this is a, there's a language string here that's picked up and we go ahead and mark that to show during registration in one line okay not on profile we can show it on profile we want but let's keep it the way this is and let's go to the parameters area and select what to show and what to hide so basically we're just showing the front end language and the time zone and let's just save and close So now if you go to the front end area and go to our sign up form, we'll see that we have 
these two extra fields here. We can select the front end language and we can also select the time zone. Now we'll go through this process but let's just go and take a look in the community builder configuration area and we'll see in the registration tab this is the registration email name and the pending email subject this is if we have confirmation uh, email confirmation set and we see that these are all language strings language keys your registration is pending approval your registration is pending approval message and so on everything is a language string here so community builder is set up to pick these up from the specific community builder language plugin that's installed okay so this is set up correctly here so let's just go through the process and see what it looks like so let me just i'm going to type in greek okay just you don't have to but let's give it a username nicholas dash gr an email let's give it a real email so we'll see Nicholas plus gr at com. And give it a password. Password. And let's click the front end language to be Greek. Accept the terms. And we, uh, this is also a field. Hello, it's mandatory, so I might as well fill it up. And let's click sign up. Now, since we specified the Greek front-end language, we see that automatically our uh, message here is picked up from the Greek language file, just because we specified it. So let's just go and look at the email. And let's just pull this up. And we see the email we're getting is also in the Greek language. So that's all there really is to it. We just have to make sure we install the plugins and make sure that we allow people to specify in the sign up form what their language is. And once that happens and we approve the subscription the the registration and the user logs in the site will automatically switch uh, to the language that the user specified oh you can just try this out i mean i'll be following up with more of these language tutorials but i want to take it a step at a time so this is the first step you really have to do in order to be able to send personalized language ready uh, emails of your registration process to users. The first thing they basically have to do is you have to give them a way to specify the front end language. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.